In this GeoGuessr video, I need to get scores higher than the ones listed on screen in consecutive games. If I fail to do that, the challenge ends and I have to try again. The classic name for this format is 3 Elimination, which is the no moving one, and 4 Elimination, which is NMPZ. We're gonna start out with 3 Elimination, do some no moving on Arbitrary World, and then we're gonna hop into the NMPZ stuff on Balanced World. It's gonna be tons of fun, I love this challenge, so make sure to leave a like down below and let's get going. This starts out pretty easy at just 10k, so let's try to get through these first few really quick because these are easy to get, and then move into the more difficult ones in the 20k later. So starting out, we are in the UK. This is going to get us almost half the points we need right now. Just going to go Birmingham. It actually is there. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that bodes very well. We're going to need that kind of luck later in the video. Hopefully I don't use it all in this game. Uh, next one here. This is kind of interesting. I'm thinking the Philippines right now with the white car, this concrete road. This is the back of the car, so we should be on the right. Yeah. Should be the Philippines. I don't really know where to go, so we'll just go south. Okay, oh, it's Palawan. That's fine. Okay, so we only need about 1,800 more points here. This is Russia. Not necessarily going to get it on this round, but I'll try to have a good guess. Actually, pretty beautiful. It's kind of just wide open space here. Seems pretty far north. I, I know there's some new coverage out this way, so I'll click somewhere up here. Okay, no. Yeah, see, I didn't even get it. Not great there. I'm not I'm not too good at Russia, especially this new Siberia coverage. So hopefully we can avoid that in the later rounds here. Get them all out of the way now. So now we only need about 400 points. It should be no problem here. I think we're back in the UK here. Yeah, I got the yellow back plates too. So somewhere in here again. Just click there. All right, not bad. There we go. We are well over 10k points now. Final round of the first game. Doesn't really matter what we do. This is Thailand somewhere. So yeah, we'll just click right in the middle. And there we go, not bad. 17-5, kind of just rushing through these, that's a good start for us. So we're gonna have to be a little more careful with each game as we go on. So next one is 12k, that's our new threshold. Alright, what do we got here? This looks like Italy, got the Italian flag, so... Yeah, again, if we just click Italy, we'll, we'll get like 4k points most likely, so... Yeah, I'll just click in Rome here. Doesn't really matter right now, later on it's gonna matter. So there we go, not bad. Next one, this is Gen 2 coverage, looks pretty north. Uh, maybe Sweden here. Hmm. Oh, yes, there we go. Swedish flag. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure what that was for a second, but we're good. There we go. Next one here. Okay, this is more Latin America. Might be Ecuador or something here. Uh, what are the poles? I guess that's maybe an Ecuador pole here. It definitely looks like that to me. But is this just Brazil? Maybe it's just Brazil. I don't know where to go in Brazil, though, so we'll just go north. Okay, well, maybe that's why it looked like Ecuador. That is max west. Very, very far out. All right, again, doesn't matter. It's early. We're, we're going to get enough points. It's fine. Round number four, kind of an interesting building there. Not sure what that style is, but this looks almost like Hungary or Czechia or something. Yeah, it is Czech, I think, with this black sign. Yeah, but you do have the right poles. That pole top you see a lot here. Yeah, the smooth concrete. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this black sun, you definitely see that at bridges in the Czech Republic. Not too sure about train crossings, but I mean, that makes sense to me. So yeah, we'll go for it. Nice. All right, again, Rover 12K here. So last round doesn't really matter all that much. I think this is Estonia. Uh, might not be Estonia, but it won't really matter. Okay, it is. Good. <laughs> so, better score. Better score here. So, we're good so far. Next one, 15k. We're moving right along. We gotta keep this moving. Alright, once again, we are in Brazil here. So, we gotta try to be a little more careful. Brazil doesn't guarantee us a lot of points, so we need to be a little careful. This feels northern to me, close to the Amazon here. Yeah, I'd go like Maranhão, Para, something like that. Let's try that. Okay, no, it's north, but I'm not close to the Amazon. That's fine. 2k could be worse. Next one. Oh, this is Russia. Okay. Gotta be careful now. So this kind of reminds me more of just West Russia, just standard somewhere. I'll go close to Bryansk here. Hopefully this is good. Come on. Okay, that's nice. 4k in Russia. We'll take that. Good stuff. Next one. This will be better for sure. Looks like we have a finished street sign. The T ending. T-I-E. That's a very finished thing. And then the uh, solid wide outside lines. Okay, Finland again, that's that's pretty much guaranteed at least 30-something points. Yeah, 44, that's excellent. Next one here is UAE, so we have two more rounds, need 15k, we're, we're fine here. We might actually get in on this round, let's see. Go by Sharjah. Did we get it? Uh, we did, yes, okay. <laughs> we survived there, UAE is good to get, we need these small countries. So again, last round here, doesn't really matter too much. I think we're gonna be in Turkey though, from that language. Yeah, I mean, this looks like Turkey. These kinds of apartment buildings, the dryness. Yeah, seems good to me. We'll click by Ankara. It's actually close. Not bad. All right, 20k. We're slowly getting better with all these scores. So hopefully we can keep this up. By the time we hit like 23, 24k, we're just getting clean 24ks. We can dream, right? So next one's going to be 18k. This is where it gets tricky. The first game, we didn't get 18k, but it was kind of just rushing. 
But now we do need to be a lot more careful. So here we have some French. Do we have French plates? We do. We have the blue strip on the right as well. So should be France. If most of them are like that, they are. Yep, so we're going to be in France. Now if we have any area codes here, these don't help. I think these are like mobile codes. Don't really see that here, so we can just click in the middle. That's fine. Okay, good enough. 4100 is excellent. Next round looks Argentina. Okay, gotta be careful here. I mean, it's not very dry. It's not dry at all, so it can't be too far south. Not like south of here. Yeah, it's probably a bit north, honestly, like Santa Fe province I'm kind of thinking of. Just like more up here. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably just go Santa Fe province. Okay, that's fine. That's very good. Next one. Okay, what's this? Oh, this might be Lesotho. Okay, that's really good. Lesotho has these super distinct mountains, so this is excellent. Small country, pretty much guaranteed 4,800 points in that ballpark. So we, we plonk it there. Excellent stuff. So we're in a really good spot here with two more rounds to go. This is Senegal again, and another really good one to get. Small country. So again, if we're lucky, this could boost us over to 18k, but we'll get close no matter what. Should get about 4k-ish points going there. Nice, yeah, oh, we're almost there. We are there, barely, 52. Let's see what we got. This is Interstate 85. Okay. <laughs> Somewhere in the U.S. on 85. Is that in, like, North Carolina? Yeah, okay. I mean, that probably goes through... That goes through a bunch of states, but I'll go NC. And, wow, it's actually right by the border, but we're still in the right state. State streak of one. Let's go. And again, we've improved the score, so this is really good stuff. 22-5. All right, so we made it through the early stages. We're into the 20Ks now, so 20K, exactly. That's the score to beat here. I'm going to take more effort here, more region guessing, just more caution. This is going to be uh, Uruguay, kind of a cool landscape here. Pretty hilly for Uruguay. There's two big areas of hills. There's the north section, and then there's the south area. I'm not sure which is which, though. It's hard to tell them apart for me. Here, I might go north. I might go more north. Okay, that's that's fine. That, it's, it is kind of the North Hills, so it's good. Next one, we've got a Dairy Queen. Looks like maybe Canadian signs here? That might be the New Brunswick shield. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, we do have the single yellow line. That's a bit French. Yeah, so New Brunswick would have a bit of that French influence. And yeah, so these stores are just not American. Dollarama, we don't have that. So yeah, this is definitely Canada. Yeah, I think that's the New Brunswick shield. We're gonna go there. Let's click by, like, Fredericton. Okay, not bad. Actually, just across from Maine there. But good stuff. As far as Canada goes, could be rougher. If we're in the middle of nowhere, could be a tricky one to get. But so far, we got 9,300. This is really nice. Round three here. We have the sun in the north. Hmm, okay. And looks like single yellow line. Interesting. Hmm. This is actually kind of weird. It looks like Argentina. The, the single yellow line is a little bit strange, I think, but... Yeah, it just reminds me of what you see in Northern Arge, like Salta province. So that's what I'm thinking now. It just kind of seems... it just kind of seems a little weird, but... Yeah, the landscape has to be. Come on. Okay, actually a little further south, just downtown Cajamarca, okay. Well, that's fine, 3800 could be way worse, so we, we should be okay again here. Next one looks like, I think, Hungary right off the bat. Let's check language, though, just to be safe, if we have any. I uh, can't read that. Well, I'm pretty sure the Poles are Hungarian, though, and the architecture as well. Yeah, seems good. We'll, we'll click by Budapest here. Oh no, it's Poland, you idiot. Okay, again, I'm messing up Poland, Hungary, Poles. I still haven't learned them. I know I asked in a previous video and someone commented and explained it. I still don't remember it though, but we only need about 28, 2900 points here. And would you know it, it's Poland again. <laughs> Incredible. So, <laughs> this time I can get it right. Uh, middle of Poland is gonna get us what we need, so we'll just click there. Alright, good stuff. We survived that one, despite me being stupid and going hungry in Poland. Does not matter. Next one is 21k, so that's easily doable, but we just need to be really careful. Gotta have a little bit of luck. Can't have too many big countries. Alright, so first one. This is gonna be either Czech Republic or Slovakia with these bollards. Vibes-wise, that's a funky-looking pole here. What is that? Uh, anyway, getting distracted. I, I feel like this is more Slovakia. A little bit. Although we don't have the Gen 4 antenna, I think that's more common in Slovakia, but... I don't think it's exclusively the antenna coverage, so maybe we're still here. But I might go Czech instead. Yeah, I'm gonna go Eastern Czech. I'll go Eastern Czech, just in case it's Slovakia, because... Don't wanna, don't wanna be too risky, go like way over here, and then it's Far East Slovakia. That would kinda suck, so we're gonna go right here. That actually pays off really big. Okay, good stuff. Next one here looks like either Bolivia or Peru. Uh, reminds me of the Lake Titicaca area. 
Yeah, I think that is probably what this lake is. Beautiful spot. Look at those mountains. That's so nice. Now, the fact that we're looking east to the lake probably suggests that we're on the Peru side. So let's let's click around Juliaca for now. So, I mean, it makes sense. Again, if we're looking east, surely over here, right? Okay, well, it is still Peru. I'm on the wrong part of the lake. Doesn't really matter too much. We should be okay. So far, I got a really nice score. All right, round three is... I'm thinking Spain. Yeah, we do have the yellow... Is that a flower or part of the guardrail? Uh, if that's part of the guardrail, yeah, I think it is. Then that's going to be the Spanish one. In combination with landscape and the road lines, too. Like, you see this guardrail in other countries, but... Yeah, these signs, this kind of landscape, the road... Seems Spanish, yep, that's the Spanish pole top there. It's pretty green, it's not extremely semi-arid or anything, so maybe a little more north or west. Yeah, I'll go like Salamanca, let's see. Okay, well it is north, that's fine. <laughs> that doesn't matter. We are okay for now, so what do we need? We have two more rounds, we need 21k, so that's a little under 4k per round. So we're doing okay. Next one here, oh, this could be bad though. This is either bots or South Africa. Oh no. I think this is more Botswana with the architecture and the road. Uh, not a great one to get, honestly. So we gotta be really careful. Let's try to actually get the right road here. So we're heading northwest, southeast here, so we could be over here. Although, I don't know if it really looks like this there. I'm a little concerned here, not confident. Okay, uh, that's that's fine. That's 4k. We're, going, we're doing okay. So now we need, what, 3,500? And it's South Africa now. Crap, okay. Oh, okay, gotta have a good guess. Gotta have a good guess. We have the road number. Oh, thank God. N17. So, <laughs> let's find that. Is that the road? I think it is. Yeah, there's a 17 here. Okay, yeah, th this area makes sense. With the landscape. Where does this go? It's probably close to Eswatini here, because you have the, a lot of these pines that you see. And Eswatini, this kind of area up high, you get these pines. Let's do that. I mean, it's as long as it's on the N17, I think we should get enough points. Because that, I think, starts in Joburg. Yeah, that's that's where it starts. Okay, so we're, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, it is over here. Yeah, right over the border from Estua. So there we go. We survived. 22-4. Really nice score here. But we're getting to that threshold, though, where it's going to be razor-thin margins. So 22k is the next one to beat. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. We're starting out in Thailand. Got the Thai lampposts. So it's pretty mountainous here. Really amazing mountains. It's also very tropical, too. So I'm kind of thinking this is the peninsula down here. Now that's risky, because if it's not down here and we're way north, that's not going to be enough points. That actually might give us an early grave. Let's try it. I'm worried, but we're going to try it. Okay, it is. Excellent stuff. 47 is really good, so that's what we'll take. Next one. Kind of looks Spanish again. Yeah, I think we have Spanish yellow reflector guardrail. Again, the same pole. Okay, so this is a little more dry, but it kind of looks pretty similar to the round we had. And that was up by Zaragoza, I think. Let's try it, like, around here. Say that. Okay, well, it is north again. Well, that's something. 42. It's fine. So we're sitting at 9k right now. We need 13k more out of three rounds. That's very, very doable. Especially with this. This is Israel. Okay. Small country. I'm glad to see it. So this is guaranteed good points. Seems actually more like the Palestine side of things. So we'll go up here by Ramallah. Nice. 4960. That is what we needed here. Good stuff. Next one is Japan. Oh, I didn't want to see this, but it's okay. We'll work with it. <sighs> okay. Region guessing Japan. It's pretty mountainous. Very mountainous. Um, doesn't look too far north to me. I wouldn't say this is north. Reminds me more of the, the hilly areas you get down here, like Okayama. And we need 8k out of two rounds. So if we get a really bad score in Japan, that's game over. I'm gonna go south. I really hope this works out. Let's see. Uh, okay, that's fine. 39 is fine. That's good. Last round is Botswana again, and we need 22k. So we're at 18k right now, just about. Oh, jeez. Alright, so we actually have to region guess this. Okay, <laughs> let's try. Let's try. How are we gonna do this? I don't know why Botswana keeps showing up and causing trouble for us, but this is not a round you want to get. Okay. I feel like you maybe see more of those south. We could be in, you know, the back roads areas out this way. We have nothing else to try, so come on, please. Oh, is that enough? Barely enough. 200 over. Wow. Very glad to survive that. We're moving on to the 23k round. Let's go. 23k. Here we go. Come on. We can do this. This is by far the hardest. If we get bad countries... Oh no, what's this? Is this South Africa again? Okay. Oh. How can we do this? This seems very 
deserty. It's not a huge town. Yeah, it seems very desert over there. You know what we can do is we can check the street grid angle. So we're going northwest, southeast here. So we can just check a bunch of towns and hopefully they line up. One of them does at least. I've checked a bunch of towns. I, I'm, I was trying to look for this Olivier Street, but I'm not seeing that. Not too sure which one this is going to be, but I'm going to stick like here. Not an ideal first round by any stretch of the word here. So let's just go for it. Okay, that's fine. I, I did look at this town. Damn it. Okay, I mean, 4,300 is fine. That's that's not bad. It could have been way worse. So we're fine for now. Next one here looks like maybe Thailand with these poles. Wow, again, same kind of mountains. This might be Peninsula Thai. Concrete road fits for Thailand. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And yeah, it's again, there's these same sort of mountains that you see in the peninsula. A little bit different from the northern mountains, I think. I think. Don't want to speak too soon, though. We're closer on the west side. We could be in one of these, like, national park type areas. Well, let's try clicking there. Come on. Okay, that's fine. It's still putting into a 46 is really good. So, we're still in the running. 23k we need, so we need 1400 points. Okay. Alright, next one looks like uh, France here. So, that's doable. If we have an area code, please. Is that an O2? I'm gonna, I'm gonna run with the O2 idea. O2 is in the northwest. Okay, so we have that. It's a little hilly here. I don't know, maybe we don't trust this. This maybe actually, is that a three? It maybe is a three, because <laughs> over here is much more like this. This kind of looks like Belgium, but it's France. So, I mean, we could be up here. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I really hope that's not a two. I think it actually is a three, though. I'm trying to look. <laughs> is that a two or a three? I really could see both, but I'm going based on the buildings and landscape to go up in the O3 section. Come on. Okay, it is actually 03. That's a little better than over here would have been, so that's that's fine. How are we looking? We're at 13-4, so we need pretty much near-perfect rounds. This is really good, though. This is Taiwan. Yes, thank you. Okay, small country. That takes a little bit of the pressure off, but we need to still make sure that we are within less than 5,000 points on round 5. So yeah, we, we need to get like 4,500 at least here. Logically, you'd say to go in the middle, but I feel like this looks more southern to me, more tropical-ish. I really hope this is good. I think we should be safe, but you never know. Let's see. Jeez, oh, it's north. 44. No. How are, we, how are we looking? Oh, no. Are we just out of reach? I think we're just out of reach. You can't- I can't believe it. Why did I go more south? I should have gone north. Because look at this. This is 5 kable UAE. You've got to be kidding me. Honestly, I don't want to 5k this anymore. <laughs> I give up. We're already out of, the, out of the running for this. Oh, it's down here. That's why. Well, we came close. If I went northern Taiwan, it would have been possible, but... What's done is done. We made it to 22k, lost on the 23k seed. I think I put in a good effort. Overall, I'm happy with this attempt, so let's try NMPZ now. So we're moving to a balanced world for the NMPZ format. This is the classic map from Deborah, of course, and it's what's used in the classic for elimination format as well. So we're gonna try our hand at this. Same score thresholds as before, but it's NMPZ. So starting out easy, 10k is very doable, but much quicker than NM. It's gonna get tough. All right, first round. We are in Australia somewhere. Got the antenna. I think this is more like Northwest, Western Australia, like up here, but I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just going to click over here. Okay, well, it is at least West, absolutely abysmal score, but that's fine. <laughs> we got the state. State's your good one. Round number two, this is looking Bhutan. Pretty cool one. There's some sort of fire going on. But yeah, classic Bhutanese architecture, these mountains and everything. So this is a round you want to get later on. We don't want this now. Oh, very, very nice. It's actually Timpu. All right, next one. Looks like Australia again. Yikes, okay. Man, I have no idea what this is. Is this far north? Like Queensland? Cairns area? Terrible. Really couldn't have been worse. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just don't know anything about Australia today, clearly. But uh, we're fine. We get two more rounds. This is looking Canadian somewhere. It honestly, could be Maine too. I could see Maine, but I'm gonna go New Brunswick in Canada. Yeah, it is Maine. Okay. <laughs> Alright, next round we got a giant chili. I don't know what the heck is going on here. That's kind of funny, though. I mean, the sign almost reminds me of Italian signage. Yeah, I guess... Why would it, Why does Italy have a giant chili statue? I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna go Pescara, Italy. Oh, it's Bologna. Interesting. I, I don't understand what's happening here. Oh, this is actually so cool. They have a an Italy theme park. I had no idea that existed. That's awesome. Well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, but there we go. Final score, 15-8. Kind of rough with Australia. Let's, let's not get Australia in this attempt. So next one, 12K is the score to beat. 
Well, let's get it. Okay, really good start. This is great. <laughs> this is exactly what you want to see, right? We're driving on the right, double yellow lines. This might just be the US. I have no idea where, though. I, I couldn't tell you. Washington? <laughs> I have no idea. Let's go by Olympia. Oh no, oh, it's Brazil, that's so bad. Okay, <laughs> three points starting us out, really good. Next one. All right, well, we, we still have four rounds. 12K isn't that bad to get, but knowing this map, Balance World, and it's NMPZ, it's it's rough out here. Next one though, we got Gen 4, snow coverage. Honestly, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I really don't, is this Norway? I don't know, I'm gonna go Norway. This is probably so wrong. It's Sweden. Okay, not as wrong as I thought. That's fine. Okay, <laughs> next one. This is rough, though. If we lose on 12, okay, that sucks. We gotta try again. Again, this is really interesting. What the heck is this fence? Is this Africa somewhere? Kinda, it kinda reminds me of, like, Central East Africa trees. Like, I could see Kenya, maybe. This is weird, though. Really strange. I have not seen- I've never seen anything really like this. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go Kenya. Come on. Ah, uh, oh, it's Eswatini. That- that makes sense. We are struggling out here. We have two more rounds. This is still doable. This is still doable. We need 8k points, <laughs> but it's it's been brutal. So we're back in Italy here. This is a nice town. I think we can see water to the northeast, some big bay here. Okay, so let's- we gotta try. We gotta try to get the town here. A lot of areas this could be, honestly. I feel like the architecture is more southern, a little bit. I'm not sure though, honestly. Would this ever be Sicily? I don't think- it is, maybe it could be. If we don't get 4k plus points here, we're kind of screwed. And we're gonna lose on 12k, so... What else? Ever... Ever Sardinia. I don't think so. I'm gonna try this idea. It's probably not right, but hopefully it's not too far. I feel like this area is what I'm thinking, so let's see. Ah, uh, not good. Not good. How many points do we need? Oh god, okay, we can- st it's still doable. We can still get it. <laughs> but we just have to have a crazy guess here. Okay, what the hell is this? I think we've hit our end. We're gonna have to try this again. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to lose in 12k. But I still believe there's still a chance. What is this? I have a crazy idea. My crazy idea is Ghana. That can't possibly be right, can it? I swear that's crazy. I don't think it is though. I really don't know what to guess, honestly. <laughs> so, we're gonna go Ghana. I- it's- this is the end. It's the end. It's Palawan Philippines. Okay, I'm never getting that. Yeah, we just had really rough rounds here. We're gonna try this again, though. Give it a fresh start. Alright, second attempt. We gotta get past 12k. Come on, losing on that is ridiculous. We need to do better. First round looks like either Romania or Hungary. I think with the bollards, though, we're gonna be in Hungary. Unless it's Croatia. There's a slight difference in the bollards. I think maybe Hungary has a slightly bigger white section on the top of the bollards, so maybe this is more cruel. Yeah, let's say that. Nice. I think that is the case that Hungary's bollards, the white section on the top, is a little bit bigger than the Croatia ones. Pretty sure anyway. So that worked out for me there. Next round is tropical. We got a double yellow line. I'm kind of thinking Brazil here. A little bit weird, but I'd, I'd believe Brazil like down here. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try it. Oh, it is. Let's go. Okay, next one. So far, this is going really well. Round three is interesting. Some sort of harbor. Oh, we have a flag. Is that the French flag? Wait, what? Oh, oh, St. Pierre and Miquelon. Surely, surely, because this looks like Canadian. Yeah, if that's that's the French flag for sure. So yeah, gotta be out here. Let's start a 5k. This is the port. I think it's this thing. Yeah, let's get it. Nice, man. 5k in St. Pierre. Let's go. Round number four, we got the old Gen 4 cam, this sort of different looking quality to it. It doesn't matter too much that this is old Gen 4, but kind of interesting to see. Looks like a pretty wealthy suburb here, these big McMansion type homes. And this seems more Canadian to me. This doesn't strike me as US. This might be some rich Toronto suburb, Montreal suburb. I'm not sure what the wealthy suburbs are, but I'll click in like Vaughn and hopefully that's good. Alright, that's fine. Over here in Rose Bank Station. Nice. <laughs> yeah, definitely something about those buildings and the, the lamps we had, the poles. They, they didn't seem American, so that's really good. This has been a really nice game. I'm at actually 24k this, if we're lucky. Last round again, I think it's Canada. And we can see a big river or something down here. I feel like this architecture is more uh, maritime Atlantic provinces, so maybe somewhere over here. Hmm, it's hilly, so we can reel out Prince Edward Island, at least. Hmm. Honestly, I'm gonna try Nova Scotia. 
Yeah, why not? I mean, we already have such a great score. I really hope we 24k this. That would be insane. But it also kind of sucks that we do it on the 10k round and not 24k later. But whatever. Such is life. Let's go for it. Uh, let's just go back. Okay, so not 24k, but that was a really good 22.8 ABW NMPZ. I'm, I'm very, very happy with. Definitely a good seed. A very good seed as far as ABW goes, as we've seen from the first attempt. But that's a good start. That's our 10k, so we're moving on to the 12k game now. Let's get past this. Come on. First round looks like... What does this look like? Is this South Africa? I think so. Pretty dry South Africa. So kind of like that game we had in Arbitrary. Probably just somewhere in here. I want to go Kimberley. Not bad. That's good. Okay. Next one. It looks like Brazil. So this I have no idea how to read and guess. Just looks like everything Brazil. Probably more over here. Not bad actually. Okay. That's good. Next one, this is sunset coverage. Almost looks Mongolia. It could be Mongolia. Yeah, I do see some yurt looking things here. Let's go for this one. Uh, not quite, but that's good. Again, could be worse in Mongolia, so we only need just over a thousand to get up to 12k, so we're good. I think we should survive this game, finally. Next around here is looking like either US or Canada divided highway. Not sure which though. Could be either. Yeah, really hard to say. I mean, it reminds me of Maine and New Brunswick again. Feels northeast. Let's try that. Why not? Oh god, that's so bad. Okay. <laughs> but we made it to 12k on that round though, so it's fine. We are chilling for now. Last round of this game. We have the yellow and black chevron. Does Portugal have that chevron? Maybe Portugal has it, because I was kind of thinking... This looked a little Spanish, but I don't think they have that, so maybe Portugal does, because I know Brazil has those. So maybe that's somehow connected to Portugal in some way. I, I don't know. Let's try. Oh, it is Brazil. <laughs> that didn't look like Brazil to me, but okay, fair enough. But it doesn't matter. We got 12k, but barely. <laughs> that was, that was kind of pushing it, so we're going to be careful going into our 15k seed. Oh man, what's this? Beautiful sunset. Hard to really see anything, though. The bridge and road kind of reminds me of Russia. You definitely see these guardrails with red reflectors in Russia. It's very flat. Seems pretty cold. Maybe it could be like way up here. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, it is north. Not, not terrible. It's fine. 15k we need. We can do that. We can do that. Next one. Got these palm trees. Sort of gray bricks here. Very interesting. Maybe this is Nigeria. Coastal Nigeria, because I feel like a lot of things get built with this kind of brick there, but I don't know. It doesn't. It didn't strike me as Nigeria when I first saw this, but I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, you know, the more I look, the more I'm convinced. I'm gonna try it. Oh no, that's so bad. Oh, DR makes sense. Okay, oh, I didn't even think of that. Damn it, man. It's fine. We still have a chance. This is Botswana again. All right, NMPZ edition this time. It's hilly for Botswana standards. Decent sized town. Let's try to get the right one. We need this. It could be Gaborone or like outskirts. Let's go. Let's go in this town here, Ramatswa. Okay, nice. It is the suburbs, outskirts of Gaborone, so we're good there. Next one is Norway, and this is beautiful. Also, a crazy overlook here. This is amazing. So, some sort of tourist spot for sure. Uh, maybe a national park. Like well, maybe one of these here. I mean, this definitely seems like the type of area you'd get these almost canyon-like landscapes. That's so amazing. It is just beautiful. I almost just don't want to guess on this, because I haven't really seen a landscape like this in Norway. That's so cool. But yeah, I'm going to go in one of these national parks. Hopefully, that's good. Oh my god, it is there. Let's go. That is what we needed to see here. And last round, so now we need just under 3k. That's very gettable, but we need to be careful. This actually could be tough. Oh no, I think it's Argentina. Okay, crap. Realistically, if I put in a little bit of effort trying to read and guess, we should get to 3k. So what do we know? It's mountainous. It doesn't seem extremely dry. So I'm kind of thinking up here, like Mendoza, San Juan, La Rioja, somewhere like that. This could be the end at 15k. I thought we were going to get this, but Argentina, that's brutal. I'm going to go San Juan. Please give me 3k. Oh, that's good enough. We got it. Oh, man. That was kind of tricky, man. If I just... Uh, missing DR was really tough. Russia didn't help at all. Otherwise, not a bad game. So we can do this. We're moving on to the 18k threshold now. So let's get it done. Come on. Come on. I believe. <sighs> Starting out. Gen 4. Northern Trees. This could be Finland. 
feel like the I feel like this kind of reminds me of the new Finland Gen 4 types of trees we've got definitely fits so yeah that's that's plausible to me let's go over here ah oh, it's Estonia uh, it's fine this could be worse next one is Gen 4 coverage again it's dry though interesting bushes and very red soil wow I I'm not sure I a lot of ideas running through my head my first thought was Alice Springs Australia then I went to Argentina for a second now I'm thinking it could be the US like up here I'm just trying to think of like really red soil areas and I just can't place these bushes I don't know that I don't think you'd see this in the US man you know what Maybe it is Alice. The bushes, that maybe would explain why the bushes look weird. This is a very all or nothing guess. I just am not sure. Oh, it is, let's go, dude. Oh my God. I was not sure at all there. Finally, I can actually guess Australia. I'm so proud of that. For some of you guys, that's easy Alice. For me, I'm so proud. <laughs> all right, next one. What do we got? What do we got? Looks like Colombia, Ecuador. Honestly, I could see either. I'm a little bit leaning towards Ecuador. Just a little bit. It might be South Cola, though. I mean, score-wise, right now, we're in a pretty good spot, so it won't matter too much. No, no, we're gonna go South Cola. Come on. Well, that explains why it looks like both, because it is on the border. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so that works for me. 46-48. Proud of that as well. Next one, we, we're in a good spot. Two more rounds, we need less than 5k. This is very weird, it's just a grass road. I feel like this could be Argentina, Uruguay. And, yeah, I don't know, something about the grass road, the trees as well, I, I'm not sure at all, though. So, let's see, let's see. Oh, it is just Arch, yep, alright. Oh, it is coastal. I was not. I was wonder. I was wondering if it was coastal. It makes sense. But 35 is good, so we need just over a thousand. And here we have a very Maze Runner-looking location. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, so it looks European with the plates. All right. So what do we know for sure? It's not Italian plates. It's not French plates. When I immediately saw this, I thought Gibraltar. Somehow. So maybe I go Spain. I'm very confused by this. This is a tough round. Uh, I'm going Spain though. Okay, we're safe. It's France, but that is enough to get 18k, so we survived. Moving on to the 20ks, come on. 20,000 even is what we need now. That is really tough to get on this map. Okay, come on. First round looks North American. It looks like US somewhere. Where are the hell in the US though? That's that's the real question. I, I don't know. My crazy idea is Driftless Area, Wisconsin. Uh, let's try it. Let's try it. That's actually not bad. It's... Omaha, Nebraska, Bellevue. I'm kind of happy with that. That's that's fine. Can't fool me, Debra. You kind of did, but you can't. <laughs> All right, next round. I mean, it seems a little bit Asian trees to me, maybe. You know what? I'm going Bangladesh. So this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. If this is here, I'll be so happy. It's just, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Ah, Indo. Makes sense. 500 points. That I think that seals the deal. Does it seal the deal? We need 16k in three rounds. Yep, we're done for. Oh my god, why did I go Bangladesh? What am I doing, man? We had a good run there. Lost on the 20k seed in the second attempt. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So let me know if you want to see more of these in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like as well and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.